Hello, welcome to episode 425. We're going to be summoning mobs using basic structure detection. That sounds a lot fancier than it actually is. Let me show you what it is. This is going to be my structure. One emerald block with another emerald block on top. Oh, hello husky. There we go. There's my structure and I turn it into a mob. Or you could do anything else, I suppose. You run any command you like. You don't have to turn it into a mob. Let's do a bit of tidying up. Bye-bye. <clears throat> Okay, so what we're doing is we are sending out a little slow cast uh, because we're not using a data pack. We don't have proper ray casts. And each time we set down a block, we're sending the ray cast, the slow cast, into the block and we're checking what block is underneath as well. And if it finds an emerald block with an emerald block beneath it, it will delete them and summon the husk. There we go. Now... I do mention while we're building this, I think this would make a great prank if you turned stone or oak planks, something that people build their first house elf out of, into husks, into creepers. That would be fun, wouldn't it? Come and join my server. Your house will turn into creepers. Anyway, I'm waffling. Let's get on and build it now. Okay, right. I'm going to need an objective, and it's going to check to see when I place the last block in my... Well, I'm going to call it a structure. It's not really going to be a structure. Uh, so set up. And my last block is um, going to be an emerald block. So let's do scoreboard. Objectives. Add. And we'll say last block. Last block. And it will be used an emerald block. Okay. All right, now let's make our little controller. Controller. Right, what I want to do is I want to check when the player, or a player has used an emerald block, and we're going to send out a little slow ray cast, a little slow cast, and if we find the emerald block, we're then going to check what block is beneath it, and if that is an emerald block as well, then we're going to summon the mob. Okay, so let's try that. So we'll execute as all players whose scores equals last block equals one. Well, let's say or higher. At that player, positioned. Now, let's just have to fiddle around with this a bit. We're going to go for about 1.65. So we're just going to lift it up from their feet a bit. Then we're going to run summon an area effect cloud at those coordinates. And we'll give it a bit of information. Tags, so we can target it. Let's give it two tags. We'll have one called ray. We should call it slow, really, since it's our slow cast. And we'll have an init me, initialize me. Make sure we get them spelt right. There we go. And let's give it a duration, so it will uh, kill itself. Duration, 40 will do, two seconds. Okay, and that's gonna be repeating. So every time we place an emerald block, there will be an area effect cloud appearing sort of inside our head. And now I want to rotate that area effect cloud so it's facing the same way as me. So let's execute as any entity type equals area effect cloud tag equals init me at yourself rotated as the nearest player whose scores equals last block equals one or higher run tp the area effect cloud to itself using locate. Oh, I put to yourself twice. There we go. Using all the information, so using the X, Y, Z, and the picture and the yaw, the rotation. So that should make it face the same way as me. Now it's facing the same way as me. We don't want to keep it facing the same way as me. Otherwise, as I turn, it will curve around. So let's remove its init tag. Tag any entity type equals area effect cloud tag equals init me 
remove init me. Okay, done. And we better move it forwards so it's going to zoom out of our eyes. When I say zoom, it's not fast. That's why they called it the slow cast. But let's execute as any entity type equals area effect cloud. Um, now it doesn't have the tag in it me anymore, but we gave it two tags though, so we can say tag equals ray. At itself, run tp yourself forwards. Let's just do, well, the higher this number, the faster it will go. But if we go over one block, it will, if we go too high a number, especially if we go over one, it's going to travel through blocks. We don't want that. We want to be able to check each time it's in a block. So I'm just going to go for 0 0.3 and we'll see how that works. So you can imagine if I set that to, to two and I had an area effect cloud and it went here and then it teleported two blocks, it won't be checking this one. So if we're going 0 0.3, we should, we should definitely hit the block. Now let's check which block it's in. So let's execute. Um, do we want to do an as here or an at? Uh, I think just probably at is fine. At any entity, type equals area effect cloud, tag equals array, if block at the coordinates of it are an emerald block, then we will run summon an area effect cloud, and we'll give that a tag, tags check me okay yeah so we're summoning if we find an emerald block we're going to summon an area effect cloud inside it and then we'd have to check the block underneath to make sure that's an emerald block as well so we will execute at any entity whose type equals area effect cloud whose tag equals check me if block is an emerald block if it's inside an emerald block and if block one beneath it is an emerald block then we will run fill its coordinates to its coordinates minus one on the y with air. So what we're doing there, let's get an emerald block. So we place one down and it fires out the ray and it says, I'm in an emerald block. And then it looks underneath and says, oh, that one isn't. But then we put one on top and it says, I'm in an emerald block. And then it looks underneath and it says, ah, this is an emerald block as well. And we set them both to air. Okay, so if we get there, in fact, actually, we'll make this one conditional. We only need to do this one if it found the first emerald block. Yeah, that's all right. Okay, and then if it does do that, let's have another conditional one. So it's found two emerald blocks. It's cleared them. Let's execute at any entity type equals area effect cloud tag equals check me and we'll run summon a husk we could say at those coordinates i suppose that would make him appear one up in the air let's move it down one and just for the fact i'm testing let's make it silent and let's give it an empty death loop table so i don't constantly run around picking up flesh death loop table empty Done. And then the last thing, let's reset the player's score. Scoreboard, players, reset all players whose scores equals last block equals one or higher. Reset their last block score. Done. Let's have a look. Right. One emerald block, nothing. Two emerald blocks. Ooh, we turned into a husk. Okay, you can have some fun with this. Just randomly put them into the game and don't tell people. Do something like, 
oak planks or stone. So when they start building their house, it's all oh, this nighttime's coming. I better be safe. I'll build my house. And their house is just turning into husks as they try and build. Oh, dear. Oh, wait. There we go. We are using... Obviously, we're not using a data pack here, so we're just using uh, command blocks. So we've only got slow cast available to us. That's why we've got that little delay there. We can't do the whole ray cast in one tick. And then when we find our little structure, which consists of two emerald blocks, we're just turning it into a husk. Cool. Just a nice little quick one. I'm sure you could probably troll quite a few people with this one, actually. Anyway, take care, have a nice day, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.